are in the onion bed. I believe the onions are pretty much done. Most of the tops have died back except for the last few. We're seeing some sizable onions in here and we are just gonna go ahead and start to lift those out. Well, that's definitely a nice little onion there considering that we had no idea if they were gonna grow at all. So let's see here what else we got. Looks like we lost a few to uh, squirrels maybe. The center part of the, of the head, of the bed I should say, has uh, kind of um, disappeared over the time that these have been growing. But other than that, things are going pretty well here. And let's see, continue just a little smaller one there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let these lay out here. We're gonna let them cure up a little bit, let them dry out. And then I have a good place in the garage to hang them where it's nice and dry, but out of direct sunlight. And uh, that should allow them to uh, let the skins tighten up a lot and hopefully last for a little while. Frankly, the way we eat onions around here, we'll probably go through these pretty darn quickly. Um, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm actually a little bit surprised. I've never tried to grow onions before. Now see, here's one that didn't make it. It got a little wet and it actually rotted out. Probably was in the ground too long. Probably should have harvested a little bit beforehand. But I'm just gonna work my way through the bed and I'll pull out and maybe I'll show you at the end a little bit of the total number of onions that we get out of the bed. And so here are the onions I've pulled out. I've kind of cleaned the whole bed out here just to see. There were a few rotten ones in there. Perhaps they got a little too moist or whatever, but you know, some of them are fairly sizable. Um, this one doesn't look too bad. Got another bigger one here. Um, could have gotten a little bit bigger. Uh, definitely these are gonna be edible though. So, uh, and then the smaller ones we'll just eat right away as you know, part of salad or toss in a pot of pasta sauce or something like that. Uh, overall, uh, certainly had a fairly decent harvest here. I would uh, do it again for sure i would plant onions in here again maybe i can do a little research and figure out perhaps you know what uh what might help them along a bit a little bit maybe something to do with the soil maybe to do with the watering practices uh whatever but you know you can't beat this when you put little tiny sets into the ground and you get uh such good food out of the ground uh, even here in the middle of urban los angeles you can't really complain about it. Um, there's actually more onions here than I thought there were. Uh, I've got a, pretty much a whole pot here. Again, we're gonna lay these out, let them dry uh, for a little couple hours in the sun, and then we'll start to hang them up in the garage where it's nice and warm, but uh, not in direct sunlight, but very, very dry here in Southern California so that they should cure up pretty well. And oh, they should last for a good couple of weeks here uh, if we take care of them properly. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. For more information, you can always visit the website douglasewelch.com. There you'll find links to a gardener's notebook, our past videos, and everything else that we do. Hope to see you next time on In the Garden. And if you haven't checked out our other series, Container Garden Update, you'll find it on the same YouTube channel. Thanks again. Until next time, keep digging.